preach and not even wear that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're well Buenos back. dias. <laughs> and welcome to Spain, España. So, we skipped last month because we really weren't going to stop doing this. But also last month, Universal Yums decided to announce that they are going to make a bigger box. Hold on a second, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Needs two people to lift. <laughs> um... A bigger box than their usual ones. And I have said in the past that they have two box sizes. The one that we do, uh, which is the Yum Box, and then there's the Yum Yum Box. So this time, they've actually upgraded. It's $40 a month, but there is a lot of food in here. You have no idea. It's called the Super Yum Box. And there it is. <laughs> it's looking really big. <laughs> so there is a lot to go over. Alright, so first thing, book is still the same size no matter what size box you get, so that's a good thing. I but it made this bigger and easier for me to read though. Yes, for all of our older, all of their older clients. But, you know, as you can tell in all my um, boxes, I do get flags, and they've all been the same size because I've had one box. This one <laughs> is a little bit bigger. I can't put this in with the rest of them because I would have to fold it in half, and I don't want to fold it in half. It's so pretty. So, welcome to Spain. By the way, I'm a very, I wouldn't say a flag connoisseur type person, but I enjoy make, like drawing them out and stuff. This is one that I've never attempted because of this. <laughs> too much work. Too much detail. Kind of sticks to the simple stuff. I had some Barbados. That was very hard. The pitchfork on the fly is... Whew. Anyways. So, as y'all know, I do enjoy starting with the savory first because savory is better and then you get into the sweets. It's kind of like a dinner dessert type flow. So, which one? Um, we'll go with that. <laughs> which one do you want to start with first? Let's do ketchup and mustard. <laughs> so, they have... Ketchup and mustard flavored popcorn. Yes, I did translate that. That is actually says popcorn in Spanish. Which I'm not even going to try to pronounce. Pal Palomitas? Palomitas. Palomitas. Correct. There we go. Four years of Spanish. Finally pays off. It's most, it just smells like cheese popcorn. Like anybody, you know, if you guys are... Most of my, if you guys are viewing from the seats, the white cheddar popcorn, that's what it smells like. Yeah, yeah. it does actually. But it's not like normal popcorn though. No, it's more like a puff. Like, but I'm, I'm not getting any ketchup or mustard flavoring. No, no. Well, they are good. I will eat this entire bag. Good for her. <laughs> I'm a fat. I'm a fatty. Alright. Oh, yeah. We're doing these things. Okay. So, the next one <clears throat> are from this company called Grandma News. They make artisan potato chips. The first one we're having is Italian ham. Which Italian ham essentially is prosciutto, so. Love prosciutto. Love prosciutto. So expensive, but so yummy. True. Okay. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Mm. That's actually really good. Those are really good. They taste like, um, almost like a ham chip. Like if you took prosciutto and you, like, deep fried it, this is kind of what it would taste like. I took prosciutto, wrapped it on a thin piece of sliced potato, and then fried it. Yeah. That's good. Alright. So, same company. I do also a Mediterranean and herbs. So 
As you can tell, when I did the Greek box, I wasn't a huge Mediterranean fan. Because <laughs> she ate olives. Olives are delicious. So one thing the Greeks got wrong. I got other things wrong. Oh, smells good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you like it. I, I do. <laughs> I really don't. Nope. Tastes like like a bunch of dried Italian seasoning. It's exactly what it is. On top of chips. Is that mm -hmm. oregano, thyme, dill? Which I do like because I. I made sure I first time for dinner last night. I threw that in there, which is really weird. Oh, but no deal. It's um, powdered tomato, thyme, basil, oregano, parsley, garlic, onion, black pepper, and rosemary. I'd be happier if it had more of the garlic flavor than the herby flavor. Really? Yeah. You say I use too much garlic. Why would you even say something like that? Because when you use garlic, you use like two tablespoons of garlic in food. Garlic is good for the soul. I used garlic in dinner last night. Yeah. She doesn't cook like I do. I like garlic. Hey! Vampires will not come near me. My food was very flavorful last night. I said it was. Are we going to argue? Yes, we're going to argue. <laughs> for the whole world to see. <laughs> Why are we do it in public in front of friends and family? True. <laughs> What's a few more million people? <laughs> we people should be tired of us by now. <laughs> okay. So the next one. But I'm not going to read that. Solitos. Solitos. Which translates. You don't believe me? Go, use your Google Translator, people. Everyone has an app for it. If you don't, you should. There's bilingual people everywhere. Anyways, it actually translates to meaning chicks. So, this. they say it's ketchup flavored chicken. It's not really ketchup, it's more like a tomato. We'll see. That's what it said, because I read the book. Because the last time that I had something that was ketchup flavored in the United Kingdom, it was nasty. Uh-oh. Which, that's why I was scared to try the popcorn, but that turned out to be really good, so. This has got like a vinegar smell. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> we both ate vinegar. <laughs> it's a weird little, it's a corn puff. It, it, it looks like a little corn puff. Anybody had a cheesy puff before? Same texture. Yeah, you know, like a cheesy poof. You know, like carving. My cheesy puffs. But there's no ketchup or tomato flavor to it at all. Or chicken flavor. Yeah. Again, I can save that for my niece when she comes over this weekend and she can eat it. She'll be here in a week. This weekend. Less than a week. My granddaughter will be here next Friday. Oh, yeah, a week. I'm on vacation next week. I'm so excited. I'm not going to do anything, but my aunt comes in to town the day after my birthday, so maybe we can go out to dinner. Who comes in the day after your birthday? Well, Christine. That's that's up. The 30th? Yeah. I thought she was coming out on the 1st. That's on the 30th. Okay. So my sister-in-law's coming. That is new news to her. <laughs> I thought it was the first. Hey, mm -hmm. well, I know. All right. Which one do you want to do next? This one or this one? I don't care. The barbecue? Well, actually, they're both barbecue. Doesn't matter to me. Okay. So, we'll go with the yellow one. That one actually looks really good. So, first off, I want to point out, that is not Spanish. I Google translated that. It is Japanese, and it means crisis. So what does that have to do with chips? So 
Don't ask me. I don't know. But it's potato chips with barbecue flavor. So, shouldn't be too bad since somebody enjoys barbecue chips and can eat an entire bag in one sitting. She's not even denying it either. <sighs> okay, it does not smell like barbecue. It does not look like it has seasoning barbecue on it. It looks like, you know when you cook the shells, like medium-sized shell pasta, uh -huh. and you smush it down, uh -huh. you know how it kind of like poops out in, from the ends? Look. Oh, so. I don't know what that smell is. Spain, I love your culture and your architecture. No barbecue flavor at all. No. Actually, it's kind of bland. Yeah. Okay. Save those for the little one. Never ever said food from Spain was bland. That was the, that would be the least thing on my mind when thinking of stuff from Spain. Bland food. Definitely not what I thought. Gotta get some more water. So, the next thing is a cocktail mix. So, I never really thought that Spain would have a cocktail mix for their bars, but hey, it's pretty cool. It's a barbecue flavor. Um, punta Punzados? Punzados. Punzados. Because don't say Punta. <laughs> I forgot that. It's not, no, nope. it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you that second way. You said it! I know! But I wasn't really thinking of it that way! Well, I hope not! <laughs> I'm just trying to pronounce this. Let's not, because you're, you're butchering it. Okay, anyways. The English translation means stitches. 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 You know, like... Stitches? Snitches get stitches? Yeah. Those wonderful things. Yes. So, <laughs> I, <got my> <laughs> I don't know if I can be able to open it this way. I might have to open it like a normal pack of peanuts. Best part is, my dad will not be able to try this because he can't have peanuts anymore. No, he's not allowed to have any seeds of any kind. Okay, now that smells like barbecue. Now that's barbecue. In the book, did it say what was in the mix? Uh, Besides peanuts? Corn nuts. Corn? Corn. Oh, okay. It looks like a hot dog. It's a corn we get in the Peruvian restaurants. Okay. Do you eat that? Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. Yeah. These look like Frito chips. Okay. It's like a, um, a Chex Mix. A Fritos checks mix. Because <laughs> it does look like a Frito chip. It tastes like a Frito chip. It does. Okay. That's not bad. That's actually really good. Those are good. So there's actually two things in this box. <clears throat> I'm a little scared to try. Yes. So I have to. I know, I do have to. It is one of the things, the reason why I did Universal Yums, to open my mind to different types of foods. So I'm going to do... <laughs> TV lit up. <laughs> so first, and content, let there be light. <laughs> so we're going to do the spicy mango gummies. Not a mango person. Do you have water? No, I don't have water. According to this book, you're going to need water. Actually, a glass of milk, they said. What? Yeah, that's what Why didn't you give me a warning before I got these? The book? You had the book. You could have read the book. I haven't had a chance to read the book. Oh, my God. You gave me back the box. I watched an episode of Game of Thrones. Can you do it on? Yeah. It smells 
like mangoes. I'll give them that. The reason I know what mangoes smell like is because somebody likes to eat them. I love them. They're so good. That's so nasty. Well, you go ahead and smell that. That smells like mangoes. Oh, yeah, it does. All right, so I'm going to mangoes. It's when we were in Jamaica. Oh, my God. And I just picked them off the, the tree and just she cut did. them open. She opened one mango. She took a bite in, and the mango juice was, like, literally falling down both sides of her face, like, all over her clothes. I was in heaven, besides just being in Jamaica. So we're going to share it because if I don't like it too much, then go ahead and have it here. Because I know I probably won't like them. So it's like a gummy. <laughs> You're not getting my water. <coughs> We're gonna pause. <clears throat> okay, those are really spicy, and I only ate half of one. Actually, she only took a bite. It wasn't even half. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't really care for spicy, spicy food. <laughs> like I don't mind if it's that like a nice little, a tiny little kick into it that gives it some flavor. But it's just like they took one whole pepper and stuck it in one whole gummy. It's just like, what the heck, dudes? Yeah. When they say spiking, spicy mangoes, they mean spicy mangoes. I got no mango flavor to it whatsoever. All I can taste is spice. No, there's mango flavor. But that spice overpowers that mango flavor. <laughs> okay. Well, moving on to the next thing that I really didn't want to eat because wasn't a fan of it when they did it as a croissant in Greece. Was it Greece that they did it in? I think so, yes. Okay. So, not a huge fan of trying it now, but again, reasons why I do this is to open my mind and try different things. Apparently it's not working. I'm trying different things. I no. am. Well, true, she is. Just does not like it. Well, it's, I, it's an olive oil cookie. It looks yummy. But the problem is, just olive oil is meant for, extra virgin olive oil is made, made for cooking. It's really not made for, don't tell the Italians, because they have an olive oil cake. Oh. Which I've had to make several times in pastry school. Thank you for not making it for your children. Okay. <laughs> Just smelling it. I'm, I don't want to eat it. <laughs> I know it's a soft cookie because I was squeezing one of them the other day, yesterday. So I know it's a soft cookie. Yeah. It's too big here. dry cooking. It's really not that bad. Mm. I'm sure they were pretty damn tasty when they were fresh baked and moist. Mm. Ah. Okay. <sighs> so that's the last. Let's move that out of the way. Yeah, let's get this out of the way because I know you're probably not going to like this. So, I'm not going to try to pronounce this, but they say it's white chocolate caramel. So, if you have watched my videos, you know I went to England. Uh, when did I go to England? In October. Last October. October. And I did a, a snack box for there because I missed... Universal Yum's uh, UK snack box and in that snack box they have a treat called Caramac which is white chocolate that's flavored to taste like caramel. She tried it, did not like it at all. Because I love two things I love the most. White, white chocolate, chocolate and, and caramel. caramel. <laughs> so I know I'm going to like these because I love the Caramacs but I don't think my mom's going to like them but judging by the looks of them they are a little bit different. It looks like they're white chocolate coated over caramel. They look like basically an M&M with caramel inside. And it tastes like an M&M. Okay. <laughs> oh my. 
I don't taste the caramel. Oh yeah, now I do. These are delicious. Okay. That one's fine. No, you get the open one. Fine. I only had one out of it. <laughs> If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't know how awesome these boxes are. If it wasn't for me, we wouldn't be popular. Mm -hmm. Alright. So this next one I'm also a little scary to try. Do you remember what this is? Let's take a look real quick, because I can't remember everything. You're supposed to that's why you read the book. I do, but you know. <laughs> I have short-term memory loss. It's just in there. Yeah. They're creamy almond nougat. What it is. Not a huge almond fan. Oh, I love almonds. Let's just get this done out of the way. I love almonds. There's a lot of stuff that's in here that's almonds. This is almond. It smells like your nasty peanut butter in the fridge. My almond butter? Yeah. I'm a peanut person. I like peanuts. I love almond. I love marzipan. It's delicious. Mm. Kind of crumbly, like the hot lava. Oh, yeah. No. No. I definitely don't like it. Has the same texture as baklava. Not baklava. I'm sorry. Halava. Halava. Yeah. Yes. Chalky. Very green. Doesn't taste like a nougat at all. No. Uh, that but was then again, American nougat is probably different than European nougat. That but is true too. I actually got I got very happy today, so came home and there was a nice big box of United Kingdom treats in my room waiting for me from my lovely husband. Yes. I had to sign for that box. Yeah, he did that for that reason. So that somebody would be home. Alright. Next. Where do you want to go next? Let's do this. Okay. It's a, ch it's a chocolate bonbon. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to give you a little lowdown on this because... Okay. Um, when I read it, it was very interesting. Okay. Because um, they call it the chocolate covered peanut nougat. Okay. <sighs> it it says, does not sound very good. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, in the Spanish region of Catalan, okay. there's a tradition called the Tío de Nao, or the poop log. This smiling hollow log with stick legs and a red hat is brought out every year on December 8th. On the nights leading up to Christmas, children are tasked with taking care of Tiona Dog. Feeding him snacks or covering him with a blanket to keep him warm. Sounds like Mr. Hanky. When December 24th arrives, it is Tio's time to shine. Children gather around him and whack him with sticks. Now we're rocking poo with sticks. While hitting the log, they sing poop log, poop nuggets, hazelnuts, and cheese. If you don't poop well, I'll hit you with a stick. Poop log. <sighs> After all the whacking comes to an end, children will look under Tio's blanket to discover he's magically pooped out a pile of gifts and candy. So, this is what comes out of the aren't you glad you're well informed <laughs> so one thing that my mom is proud of that she's actually made her children smart <laughs> and well informed on so many things <laughs> I yell at her on so many things that I hate being knowledgeable on this wasn't one of the ones I wanted to know though <laughs> because now Along with the well knowledgeable stuff we have, we also have our heads full of useless useless information that we really don't ever really need, but it's there. And this is one of now them. Now this is one of them. Because they're so nice to this 
hoop log until Christmas Eve when they whack it with sticks. <laughs> so they were, so all through Chris, all through December, they're worshipping this stick, this log, the poop log. <laughs> and they go Christmas Eve, they just beat the crap out of it. Yes, because when they did it, little clusters would fall from them. <laughs> Hence, poop log. Okay. Oh, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not making this stuff up. When you get this, you can read it in this book. If you get this, if you get this size and it's in there, I'm telling you. What? Well, yeah, that's the thing that Universal Yums does. It's not clearly everything I have here. Not all of this stuff is going to be jammed in my normal small box. No, but I have a feeling we would have gotten the poop log. I think we would have gotten the poop log, too. Just because it's the poop log. And I think because of the fact that it's comedic, that they would definitely, there would be people out there to enjoy the comedic relief to it. I, I feel like we would have gotten that. Maybe we should have eaten it first before I gave out the story. <laughs> I don't think we would have gotten the popcorn, which would have been disappointing, because that actually is good popcorn. Not nougat. Their nougat is different from our nougat. Mighty tasty poop. Dark chocolate. It is. So, that's good. That is actually really good. Cause I don't have enough European candy in my room right now. <laughs> so there's three. Do you want one? Yes, I do. Okay. This one or this one? Let's do this one. I like this. There's four of those, and that's chocolate. And I like chocolate, so yes, I do like European chocolate. Less sugar, made with homemade, you know, whole ingredients instead of the cap that we get here. Yep. So oh, see, that looks more like nougat. So this is another nutty nougat. Yes, it's another almond nougat, but it has a peanut on it. Yes, it has peanuts, too. Oh. It's called the Chewy Peanut Nougat. Yum. So. This looks more like a marshmallow nougat. Yes, this, which is more of what our nougat looks like. It smells like marshmallow. Oh, it does smell like marshmallow. It's the egg whites. That's why it smells like marshmallow. Mmm. That's really good. I could eat that. You can't have all of the candy. But I don't split it with you. From BS. I paid for half the box. You did pay for half the box. That was the only reason we decided to do this box. Because it being so expensive, and she does this all the time with me, but I did want, it was my idea to get the bigger box because I'm curious to know what kind of stuff was actually going to be in the bigger boxes. Because um, we always get the small box, which is perfectly fine for the two of us. We don't really, this is a, like a lot. A this lot. Way too much for us. But but I was curious to know what they would send us. Because I love Spain. I've been to Spain. And I can't wait to go back. So I haven't been yet. I am looking forward to go. Was supposed to go in high school, but circumstances beyond our control, we couldn't. Yes, we couldn't. And I was de I was pretty devastated because I've always wanted to go to. Yes, because we traded in Barcelona, so yeah, that ten ten day cruise to the through the Mediterranean. It, and you know what? It wasn't even just a ten day cruise. Like we were also spending like a week in England, yeah. and then a couple days in Spain and in Italy. No, in Spain, because it stopped in Italy. The boat stopped a few times in Italy. But we, our itinerary also, like, we were basically going to be out of the country for an entire month. <laughs> All in Europe. <laughs> Pretty much. So, definitely was something I was looking forward to at, at 16, 17 years old. And, unfortunately, I didn't get to enjoy that. So It went from England to Rome. So, we were ending in Rome. We were going to be there for a few days and then fly home. We were going to fly home from Rome. 
Yeah, we were flying to England, spending some time in England, then going, because it started, the, the boat started in Spain, in no. Madrid. It did. Yes, it did. And we were going to go to Madrid, go there. No, because we were also supposed to go to Barcelona, too. I remember that. At the end of it, we were supposed to go to Barcelona and then fly home from there. Barcelona was supposed to be our last stop because it's in the center of the country. No. Well, if that's, what, that's what Jim told me. No. Okay. We were flying home from Rome. We were going to do three days in Rome. Ooh. Well, we're going to do three days in Italy at the end of our cruise. Yes. So. All right, moving on. I, again, I'm disappointed I never got to go to Spain. So I know it sounds stupid, but I did watch the Cheetah Girls 2 when they went to Barcelona. It was really cool. So, so anyways, so I did a Google Translate on this, and it translates to exactly chocolate pastry so it is a puff pastry with chocolate inside correct but that's what it translates to as it actually translates to pastry of puff pastry of, with chocolate so ah chocolate I always love the smell of chocolate <laughs> It definitely was a puff pastry because it's so flaky it fallen apart inside the thing. I can't even take it out to show Can you, you just guys. Take a bite? Because it's just so crumbly. Well, don't take it on. You take a bite. <laughs> it's definitely crumbly. <laughs> you can have those. I don't like it. You really don't like it? Nope. I don't care for chocolate. No, I like dark chocolate and white chocolate. All those other chocolates good. I don't like that one. Surprisingly, I actually don't like it either. Kind of dry and chalky. Yeah. Not how I want my chocolate. Alrighty. Moving on. Mm, that's all actual candy. So we'll do this one next. Okay. So, there's two things in this bag. Now, as you guys know, I always say that Universal Yums comes with yum bags. And it's always filled, my box, usually about six to ten pieces of candy. I have two. This one is all candy. <laughs> this is nothing but candy. And then this one is some treats, too, which is smaller, snacker size. Um, we're going to do the chocolate one first. Because I don't like chocolate and orange. Oh, that one. I don't care for it either. So it's supposed to be a candied chocolate covered candied oranges. Candied orange with chocolate. Kind of like a, a chocolate covered strawberry, but orange. Which means my husband will like this because he loves chocolate and orange. If you ever watch the UK video, that man. Literally, I'm not kidding. In three days, ate a box of Jaffa cakes. Hmm, why are you open one? What? Mm -hmm. Well, it smells like dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. I think Dad would like that. Mmm, no. Taking, have that. No. Why right? It came with six. He can have the other five. Four. Four. I forgot we opened one each. Oh, shouldn't have put it. No. I don't know why we did. If both of us don't like chocolate and orange. We should have just opened one and taken a bite. Mm. Now the next one. I did a Google Translate on it. And it's a shortbread oh, yeah. lemon cookie. Yep. This one I've actually been dreaming about. Me too. Because <laughs> shortbread cookies and lemon, 
I'm not a huge shortbread cookie fan, but I love lemon and lime flavored stuff. I absolutely do. Yesterday, I made, like I said, I made dinner for us. I had to surprise my mom. I brought home a key lime pie because I couldn't figure out an actual dessert to pick out for us because that's my favorite. So I picked out a key lime pie. Hey, it's a really crumbly cookie. <laughs> You're making a mess. I'm sorry. You've made a mess on my bed before. Oh my god. I'm not gonna Why? I don't. I don't taste really any flavor of lemon. It's kind of chalky. It's definitely not my shortbread cookies, but I'm gonna let Dad try that. Spain, you are so good with chips. types of candies in this pack. <laughs> yes, there are. Ah. Alright, which one do you want to start with first? Pick one. Remember one you come out with. Oh, I'm just going to start at the top, so that one. This is a chocolate bonbon with biscuit. Why are you looking at it? Because it's tiny. It's not like the orange. This is actually really tiny. It smells like caramel. <coughs> it has a hazelnut inside, so it's like the Frere Rocher. Rocher Frere. Whatever. Um, sort of, but not quite. The inside cream is kind of sweet. Mm. Um, I actually do not like that. Oh, uh, yeah. This is a... Um, Oh, that's the note box now. You think Dad will eat this? He'll just give it a try. Okay. That's the note. Okay. Okay. Next. That would be the soft almond candies. Looks like an egg. It says, it might look like an almond, and it might smell like an almond, but let us assure you, this is not an almond. It's a super almond. special Spanish candy encased in an almond shaped wafer shell. Traditional candy stuffed with an almond and sugar paste. Typically, these beautiful candies are saved for the holidays. Okay. Okay. So, if anything of the last two things that we've opened separately oh. taught us, we're just going to try to share this one. Even though it's tiny. Yeah. It looks like they made it with like like a macaron. Uh, definitely smells like an almond. It does. Okay. <laughs> No. I definitely don't like it. Oh. 
I can tell you we're striking out on this sweet stuff, Spain. You want to see if your father wants them? Wait, why don't you just give him the one that's already open? Instead of wasting it. Well, because if he doesn't want them, then he could throw them away. You know? I guess. Okay. Dad didn't contribute to this box. Let's take a look at what I'm getting taking. <laughs> Let's take a look at what you're taking. <laughs> Dad is my other person. <laughs> Dad is my person. <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm guessing you're Christina because you're the badass. That would be me. <laughs> All right, moving on. The next one is espresso chocolate. You so. mean the pistachio toffee? No. Or this one? That one. Chocolate with pine nuts. Oh, chocolate with pine nuts. It's so tiny. Take a bite. It's <laughs> chewy. It's almost like a Tootsie Roll. A harder than a Tootsie Roll. A little bit harder than a Tootsie Roll. Well, <clears throat> no. Um. Well, we don't like we did to my husband. Because <laughs> for some reason, my dad can eat anything and doesn't really complain about it. The man's eating tripe for crying out loud. Alright, last one is pistachio, which I'm hoping is really good, because where can you go wrong with pistachio? <laughs> okay, well, creamy, chewy, pistachio-filled toppings. Okay, I'm pushing on this thing. There's nothing creamy or chewy about this. So we both now seem to open one separately. So I'm pushing on that thing really hard. There's nothing creamy or chewy about it. By the looks of it, though, it should be creamy and chewy, but it's harder to rock. I taste the pistachio. Like, there's no actual pistachio nut inside. This is good. But I love talking. I like this. You can have this. Uh, wow. Oh, Dad might want those. So there's one thing absolutely left. Mm -hmm. Sorry. This is very... Chewing. I know this. <laughs> Actually, this tastes like Werther's original. But pistachio. I don't taste pistachio. You don't taste the pistachio? Dear Lord. I came in here and this thing was full. Full of water. Yeah, me too. Thank God we're down to one thing. Well, this is da, 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 cappuccino chocolate truffles with cappuccino or dark chocolate. So, well, it says on the side cappuccino. So that's what we got. Shouldn't be that bad. I like cappuccino, but I've never been a fan of coffee flavored stuff. I am. I don't like when people use artificial coffee flavor in anything. Um, my mom made a coffee cake. No, I didn't. I made a chocolate cake. Okay, she made a chocolate cake with, with espresso, espresso in it, and that was amazing. It really was. She used real espresso, real ground powder, everything, and it was absolutely amazing. That I do like. <laughs> but if you're going to make coffee flavor stuff, a lot of times people use artificial flavoring um, for it, and it 
<laughs> it just doesn't have the right taste to it. So. It smells like cappuccinos in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and they look like Hershey Kisses. <laughs> Like giant Hershey chips. You guys have to see this. I am not even. If again, we're having the same issue that we did with the Belgian box because living in Florida, chocolate binds together, sitting out in the heat. So since it, I was trying to break off one piece. It's not gonna look that way because it's all melted on the bottom. But it does look like giant chocolate Hershey kisses. So they also look like turd bombs. Hey, we already had a poop vlog. What do you want from me? Okay. Mmm. Very creamy. Mmm. Okay. So, I'm not going to bed anytime soon now. Oh my god, these are delicious. Woo! Oh god, we saved those for last. Makes up for a lot of disappointment. It yeah, definitely does. <laughs> you can't eat too much of those. That's caffeinated. <laughs> I'll have to have one in the morning with my coffee. <laughs> Ooh, what we're having for tomorrow for breakfast. Those <laughs> were good. Woo! Alrighty. Well, so we got a lot of stuff in this box. Um, unfortunately. Most of the candies were kind of disappointing. It was very sad. Because um, honestly, when you really think about it, some of the things that kind of scared me at first just by reading the names, ketchup and mustard popcorn, kind of freaks you out when you think about it, but it actually was really good. It tasted nothing like ketchup and mustard. It was really good. Well, it actually tasted like cheese popcorn. It does. That was really weird. Um... One of the things I was lo looking forward to was the puff pastry with chocolate, and that was a disappointment. Um, Do we have one of those over here for Father? No, they're all in here. Okay. Well, not no, the one? No. Okay. Just kidding. Okay. Um, one thing I I knew that was going to be a disappointment to me was the chocolate covered orange. <laughs> I don't like it. I. I have had it so many times that it's just, there's no way to make chocolate and orange work for me. Me either. Um, even in pastry school, I never really cared for it. I've made tons and tons of candied oranges. I don't care for them. No, I would rather, I honestly eat the candied lemons and limes, but definitely not an orange. Now, when we did the Pakistan box, they did have pepper gummies in that box, and it wasn't even that, like, the, they weren't even that spicy, because I enjoyed them so much, I ate the whole thing. But these spicy mangoes were unbelievably spicy. Which is saying, when I say it's a little spicy, then it's a little spicy, because I like spicy things. And for me to even take a step back, that's a that's an accomplishment. Um, I thought, you know, they were over-exaggerating with that whole thing of having a glass of milk while you try one of these. I'm not kidding. When I paused it, I ran to the kitchen and drank, like, maybe a cup and a half of milk. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, mostly the savory things were the best. Um, I definitely did not think these were going to be the way they were. I really thought these were going to be, like, the British candy. and I'm glad they weren't. <laughs> So she actually gets to keep a tube. Because <laughs> they were good. They're actually really well. One of my absolute favorite things in here, I'm not even going to lie, my favorite, favorite thing is the cocktail mix. I, I don't know why, I really do love the cocktail mix. My favorite thing, <laughs> which we're having for breakfast tomorrow, <laughs> is the cappuccino bonbons. <laughs> These... Oh my god, those are to die for. Those are really those good. Are amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out how to make these myself. <laughs> but maybe decaf. <laughs> but they were they definitely were really good. I did not 
I did not, definitely did not expect them to be as good as they were. Yeah, I'm not a huge truffle fan, but I'm going to tell you these were really creamy for, to be a truffle. Um, normally truffles are kind of dry and I wouldn't say chalky, but they're a little drier. But these were smooth and creamy. They were literally melt in your mouth type of candies. And those are my favorite. I so, definitely did like the the marshmallow nougat. That was really good. That was good too. Um, I liked. <clears throat> well, I did like the poop log. The yeah, I still have a piece of the poop log left over here. So that was delicious as well. But uh, it wasn't horrible. Next time I'll tell the story after we've eaten it. <laughs> I still have a poop log left. Well, that's pretty much it from Spain. We've uh, had all we can possibly have. So um, we definitely are putting an end to this because we weren't getting as much views as we we liked we had hoped for so um maybe i'll come back when i have more ideas on i would definitely want to keep my channel more food oriented um because i know with so much that's going on in this world today everyone always wants to look online for something hateful and i feel with all this going on that there should be some comic relief and some entertainment out there to take your minds off of whatever issues you have. Um, either if you're watching from the U.S., if you know you have issues with our president, if you're watching from the U.K., you have issues with your prime minister and the Brexit, or any other country where you have stuff going on. Just it's a nice relief to take your mind off of things that are going on and I definitely will not turn my channel into something mean or hateful or I, political or political I do have my own personal views and that is my personal views and I will keep it that way only my friends and family do know them so yeah. this is mostly for really entertainment for her it's to try new things because she's always been afraid to try new things and I was really surprised when she told me this is what she wanted to do and I applaud her for stepping out of her comfort zone because she really does have a hard time trying new things. But I'm glad she does it. And um, next but month's box, um, I kind of have an idea. I've never heard of this country. Well, but you... I'm guessing you came it, up with. Right. It's just a guess. Um, what well, used to be the country of... Uh, Burma, which is now Myanmar. So, we'll never, see. never heard of it. We'll see how that goes. We should know by when. Usually around um, the first of next month, around, between the first and the fifth, that's what they tell you. Okay. So, yeah, from, they will give another clue though, like, again. Yeah, through, for the next couple of weeks, they give you about one or two more clues along at the same time. They, um, they will also award the tally up, basically. So, on the back of every flag card is these wonderful tally things. They used to do it differently, uh, where you can write each person's name and every person can write them differently. But now me and my mother have to sit here and collectively together pick one thing that we find to be completely the best thing. Well, we have already done that. One thing to be the runner-up, one thing to be the worst, which I think we're going to go with the orange. Yeah, that orange. Is the orange. <laughs> and the most unusual. Huh. I have to think about that. Um, most hmm. unusual. Would be the must catch it, but it's the one that, I mean, the sound of it is unusual. This, this yeah, the sound of This is unusual. I think, yeah, the spicy mangoes will go with the unusual. Because never in my life where I think that you need to put basically cayenne pepper with mangoes. I don't know if that's actually in it, but it sounds like it could be. To me, I think the personally my my best yum is the popcorn. <laughs> but 
but I think we'll definitely know the cocktail mix. But the one thing we actually both agree on is the truffles. Yes. Those are just unbelievably good. And then the runner-up, we'll have to discuss that one together. But, and also, you guys, if you read your books, they give you all these wonderful clues. You know, first off, they're very informative. It gives you information on the countries themselves. Um, little tourist attractions that you can go to. Uh, they have trivia answer questions, you know, about the country in the book, too. Also, when you do read it, even reading the little stories on all the snacks, it, it's the answer key. The answer key to right here. <laughs> And it gives you a nice little clue at the bottom down here on what next month's snack is. Which this one, it says, get ready for a taste of paradise in April. We're bringing you pastries filled with rare coconut jelly. Which and my research uh, landed me in Myanmar. But did you read the clue on the back? I did. Okay. But, you know, next month we'll go to 7,000 places, not just one. Don't stress. We promise it will be lots of fun. Sweet corn, potatoes, it might sound like a bore, but this Pearl of the East has so much in store. Well, the Pearl of the East is usually China. Um... It's always been referred to as that. And I don't think it's China. Um, they haven't done China yet, though. I can definitely tell you that I also was on the page today. Because I had to go back to the smaller box. <laughs> I had to change my subscription back to the smaller box. So I don't get charged again for this one. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't want, really, the small box from either... Myanmar or China will be perfect. So, um, also in this one, they did uh, recipes for some tapas, Ooh. which are small plate food, is what Spain is very famous for. So, give those a try, and you know, maybe we'll do it and report back on how they were. I want to do that one. Of course you do. It's fried potatoes. <laughs> your, it's your fault that I like potatoes that way. I don't know how I feel about that. It's a tomato. But I'm not a, I'm not a huge cooked tomato fan. Like, tomato sauce is one thing, but, like, if you're going to dice up a tomato and cook it, I'm not really... I'd rather eat the tomato cold. Mm -hmm. And what's that one? Well, it's goat cheese, bacon, and dates. Nope, I'm not eating it. You had me on the first two. Lost me on the last one. So. What? We shall see. Okay. Well, it's been fun. <laughs> it has, and I know this, this, because of the box being so large, we've doubled our video length. We do try to keep it under 30 minutes, but because of the box being so large. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if we weren't entertaining enough. I highly doubt that. <laughs> if you would have saw me with the spicy mangoes in the living room, probably been more entertaining. So, well, I hope you guys have a good night um, or a good day, wherever you are in the world. Please be safe out there. Have a good life. Enjoy yourself. I'm going to say something to my mom this me all the time. Don't take it too seriously. As my granddaughter says, breathe in and breathe, breathe out and move, move along. <laughs> Which is actually a quote from Jimmy Buffett, so. <laughs> yes. Lovely Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> so, well. Thanks it, for watching. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>